Peter, tell me about the mission of the Peatland Restoration Agency. Uh, after the messy fires we have, we had in 2015, uh, we realized that it's almost impossible to put out uh, fires on peatland. So the best strategy is, of course, to prevent the fires happening in the first place on peatland. And that would mean that we need to recognize that a lot of our peatland have been drained and degraded. So we need to restore the functions of the ecological and hydrological function of peatland to keep it wet and moist even during dry seasons. So it will not be easy to burn, so to prevent pit fires. And the task of the pit agency is to restore this drain pit land. How yeah, your work perhaps fits in this approach, the landscape's approach? Yeah, first, uh, looking at the scale, we look on what we call pit line hydrological landscape. So it looks like a watershed. But the connection of this one big landscape is the water ecosystem in this pit land and near, nearby non-pit, even the mineral soils, but which hydrologic affected by the pit land. So that's one big landscape. I think that fits very well with the Global Landscape uh, Initiative. And of course, second, if we look on this big landscape, hundreds of thousands of hectares, uh, we have multiple stakeholders and also landowners or land managers, including the local government. Even the central government divided in several sectors who have authority on that land, agriculture, public works, or also uh, internal affairs, our interior ministry, as well as environment and forestry. What made you want to participate today in the Global Landscapes Forum? Uh, the 2 million hectares uh, target is very ambitious. We understand that uh, the key word for us to deliver later four or five years from now is cooperation. We need a lot of partners to work with us. So uh, any partners who have uh, interest and program working in cooperation from landscape level, we will see that as a very important uh, stakeholder and partner to work with, including the Global Landscape Forum. Yeah. And how can uh, research organizations like C4 help you reach your goal? First, in designing the restoration activities, we need a very strong science, including some science-based experience and data. After we implementing that, I think we need constant monitoring, scientifically done, and provide inputs if our restoration technique, methodology need to improve for the next year and so on. So, constant cooperation with the Research Institute on evaluating and checking how it is impacting the hydrological refunctioning of the landscape, uh, I think is one of a major issue.